Hell yeah. Yo, Cuss by Reggie, back with another review. It's gonna be real quick, maybe, depending on what's quick to y'all. I don't know. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, all the good stuff, right? So, usually I don't even do this, but there is a lot to this clipper. So much that I actually wrote down notes this time. So if you see me gandering to the side, I'm trying to keep everything on track, right? Bevel, of course they came out with a trimmer years ago. I was late to actually trying the trimmer. It was a good trimmer. Did I like it? I mean, as far as for me to use it, not necessarily, but it gave crisp lines, had good power, all that good stuff, right? This here is their Bevel Pro, which is their clipper trimmer in one package, right? You see the dial right there? These buttons right there, it takes about five seconds to get a full open, full close, right? If you're going from, let's say you had it all the way closer. Anyway, $329 on pre-order. They got it on pre-order, $329. And if you pre-order it, you also get the T-blade. Since it is a trimmer, it does come with the square blade. But a lot of people are not using square blades for trimming these days. So you got the T-blade that comes along with it. So with the pre-order, you got two blades. You have three blades in all. But you have two trimmer blades. Then you'll have the, the clipper blade that comes on it. $329 if you pre-order. See, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking, right? $329 if you pre-order. It got four hours of runtime, which is a great runtime. Um, four hours of runtime takes about two hours to get a full charge, right? In the box... I didn't do an unboxing of this, but in the box you do get the the charger, the charging cable. And since it is a clipper as well, you also get their magnetic guards. These are single magnetic, which is they're easy to put on, right? You just snap. Since this blade is the only blade that can fit on here, these are the only guards you can use on this, right? And then of course, not of course, because you don't know, but this is the same build as the original one, but these blades, I guess based off the mechanics of the opening and closing and stuff, these blades will not fit on the original trimmer, if you're thinking about that, and then the original trimmer will not fit on this one. So don't mess with it. I don't know what it'll do. I just know that it don't fit. And I also say that in the pamphlet. Usually, I don't even read the pamphlet, but guess what? Get stored a little bit. Let's, let's talk about the build of the machine. The build of the machine is the same as the original. It's a little bit thicker. Um, of course, you take the blade off. Take the blade off. Put the blade on. Uh, sometimes, it's a, especially in the beginning, it's a little tough to get that blade off. You almost think you're going to break it, right? But it's cool. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? I'll put in a video of me zooming in and zooming out. Uh, that's the... That's the power buttons, all right? You see that? Can you see it? All right. Boom. That's all the way open. Boom. All the way closed. It takes about five seconds to, if you're coming from all the way closed to all the way open, it takes about five seconds to get the full extension. But the LED light is there. That's the battery power. Uh, if it's all the way charged, it's going to be all the way around, full circle. Uh, and if not, of course, that's the that's the countdown. Metal or whatever material this is here, like a little plastic almost. Then they got the rubber grip rubber grip here for your cutting and stuff, right? The blade holds on pretty good. It's not weak. One problem I had with the original trimmer is when I would go to when I would go to brush off to clean the blade or something, it would easily it could easily pop off. You know what I'm saying? So. That's one problem that I had with the original. I'm going through this quick because I want to get to the actual use of the clipper. All right. Uh, the guards, we're going to talk about the use, but the guards are pretty nice. They're thick, right? When you're fading against the grain, it cuts down pretty good, but you kind of got it. It's, I don't know. It's like it don't have a nice in between depending on the texture of the hair right? Some hair lays down easily. Some hair is a little bit different, right? So when you're going against it, it's like some little notches that on certain haircuts, 
I would have to go back into my Rebel or Masters or something just to kind of get the fin finish touches in it. But the blades are good, especially going with the grain. You see how this flat bottom is? When you're laying, say you're laying down waves, right? If you're laying down waves, the way that this just sits, they're easy to snap on. So snap on, it's like if you're going against or laying down waves, it just it just sits right there on the head. Like it sits perfectly in a like a 90 degree angle for you to get the hair to lay down. You know what I'm saying? So I like that. Cutting through bulk. It's decent with cutting through bulk. It's not the best, right? Um, if you got too thick of her, some, some clippers, some of the newer clippers will go through it a little bit easier than a magic clip or something like that. This will go through it, but you, it's like you almost just got to get that one pack. You got to get that. Once you get it going, it's, it's, like, it's almost like the, the clipper is trying to figure out what's going on with the hair. You know what I'm saying? But it goes through, fades pretty nice. The blade on here, the blade on here is really good. I really wanted to zoom in. I don't know if it can. All right, so you see that? The blade is thin. See that full open? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I don't want it to zoom. It's like it's focusing on me and I don't know. But, but there's the blade, all right? Full open, full close. All right, so let's get with the, the full use of the clipper. Fades nice. A lot of people are like, it's gonna add time to the clipper or to the cut which it does. It actually does add time to the cut. It adds time to the time to the cut because you have to let's say if it's at the zero mark and you're trying to open it, the bottom the bottom button it opens it. You hold it and it takes a second to get it to actually start going because it's not a quick touch, right? Which is a good thing because when you cutting and you holding it like this, the buttons are not sensitive. It's almost like a thumbprint on this bottom one right here where you can just hold your hand. They're not sensitive, so it's not gonna knock. You're not gonna push the button accidentally. And it's like it's, it's not like a touch screen. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good on that. So it does add time to your cut because you have to wait for that to adjust versus a, a lever, right? When you're cutting lever, you can move it quick, right? When you're doing this, you have to hold, and let's say you're fading. So you got to get back into where you was going. So it's almost like, and I know there's going to be somebody that's going to be like, well, it's something to get used to, blah, blah. I'm talking about my experience. This is my opinion. So let's say, let's say I'm starting it down. I'm doing a ball fade. So I'm starting it down in the zero position, right? So instead of me playing with the lever and finding my spot, it's almost like I got to stop, look at it, Make sure I'm in the, cause it's in one millimeter or one centimeter increments, right? So you gotta keep looking at it to make sure you're in the same spot. You know what I mean? So it's not like a quick lever, you know what I'm saying? But then it takes time because, so while you are waiting on that, you put a blade on because you was just in a full open position. You put the blade on to go up to the next fade texture or the fade step higher. Now you gotta wait to close it all the way back down and then go into it and then you open it up a little bit and then you cut it, right? Which I said, it only takes about five seconds to get a full open. So it's not like it takes too much time. It just adds a little bit of time when you're trying to get a cut done. You know what I'm saying? Versus a lever, you got the comb and you're just going through, you know what I'm saying? And then it is the trimmer all in one. So then when you get to the trimmer part, you got to take that off. And in the beginning, it's almost like you think you're going to break it, how tough it is to get that blade off, which is a good thing because it holds and it's not easy to knock off. Another thing that I like about that option of opening it, people always arguing about the zero gapping. All the way closed, it's pretty much zero gap. 
in, you're not, they're not sharp. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not sharp at all. You're gonna get some good lines with this blade. Of course, Belville, Belville already had the blade part down pack. You know what I'm saying? They had a good blade on their trimmer. I just wasn't a huge fan of the trimmer. You know what I'm saying? And if it sounds like I'm all over the place, I know I am. It's just so much with this. The technology alone in this is mind blowing because of everything that's in it, right? And it got that rise to awake. So you see, wait till it disappear for a second. Go. And then if you move it, that it's going to pop on. So it's just kind of giving you a battery life. It holds that full charge too. Like, if you even with it being a one thing, uh, uh, two clippers and trimmer and one, it holds that charge with ease. That charge with ease. Like, even with you going back and forth and using it all day, you probably get a little bit longer than that four hour runtime. You know, that's even with you using this one thing for everything. This has 6,000 RPM, which in the beginning I thought would be a problem because you're. You're dealing with RPMs for two products. I mean, two, you know, machines, but in one. But they do it perfectly. Like, everything about this clipper is damn near perfect. The The build of it is very strong. Doesn't seem like it'll break after, after like, the first drop. The blades are good. The technology are good. They did a great job on the buttons. A, a question about that, though... How long does those buttons last? Like how long is the lifetime of clicking up, clicking down, clicking up, clicking down? If you if you if you go into that thought process, it might slow you down, but it's not a bad clipper or it's not a bad machine, right? Overall, the question is is this worth your is it worth your money? 100% yes. This let me let me let me let you listen to it too. I don't know how it sound on the other side of this, but it's not loud, right? All right, so I had a call in between this. So I'm trying to get everything out, right? Three twenty nine for this machine. If you pre order, you get the T blade to come along with it, right? So you have the square blade, the cutting blade, and the T blade. This is a great clipper. It fades very nicely. The only negative that I have about it is the waiting for that to open and close. Trimmer blade is probably up there with the likes, and I know everybody like the Gold FX blade. This trimmer blade is nice, right? And then with the trimmer blade on, it's pretty much like you're zero gapping it with that on. Like you can say you got a kid in the chair and you don't want it zero gapped. You can just o use that feature just to open it up just a little bit and cut like that. It's amazing, right? It lays down her pretty good. It's not the best with the line, the, the trimmer. It's not the best with like um, Caucasian hair, but on thicker hair, it, it gives like the cleanest lines, right? Uh, it's, I wouldn't say... It'll be the best through bulk. You'll have to go through, maybe get you another clipper to take down bulk. But overall, this bevel clipper slash trimmer is the best product, hands down. The question, like I was saying before, is, is this worth your money? That's always, so I like to say something too. Something can be worth the money and still not worth buying it. You get what I'm saying? Like, like let's say a clipper is $200. It might be worth that, but there might be better options, right? This clipper is worth every single dime that you pay for. Based off the technology alone, just to have something to try, right? Usually when I say something is worth the money and it's probably the best thing I've ever used, it's going to be something that I continue to use. The crazy thing about this is I'm probably not going to use it too often 
but this is the best thing that I've used. The, re the reason being is I'm going to get used to the lever, right? This don't have the lever. I like what it does. I like the technology in it. I like everything about this. So this is technically the best product that I won't be using. Would I suggest you buy this? Yes, 100%. If anybody can get used to this here, you're going to love this product. And this is going to be the only thing you need, right? This is the only product that I've said, uh, this will make me try to get used to having a different feature though, right? I've used other clippers and it got the circle knobs here or like the FX3, you know, when you open it and close it right there, those are cool. And it's actually quicker to use those right but this clipper is probably the best clipper slash trimmer that i've used for them to be able to fit all of that into one thing is amazing i'm not in the machine i don't know how to open this one and go deep and see what's in there but as far as just a basic barber using a clipper slash trimmer this is definitely worth 329 Maybe later it comes down, who knows? But as of now, this is worth 329. And I think you should buy it. I think you should give this a go. Now, the price point, kinda high. Everybody not gonna wanna buy a, a product for 329 just to maybe not like it. And I understand that. But let's just say you're looking for something and you have 329, buy it give it a go hopefully all of this made sense it's just so much into into this product with it being two things it's just a lot to cover right excuse me maybe in a while i'll revisit it go over everything again hopefully with a better thought process laid out this is after a week and a half of use and it's amazing all right is it worth the money yes Will I be putting it in my normal rotation? No. That's just, that's just me. But if you can get used to that, I think you'll like it. If you like the videos, thumbs up the video. If you dislike the video, thumbs down. Comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Instagram for more giveaways. Um, and yeah, give the Bevel Pro a go. Peace.